Hey everyone, it's Kay and welcome back to another vlog, the part 2 of my random questions asked by my students vlog. I'm so excited to share this with you but first things first, as we begin, don't forget to give my video its well-deserved thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. from Shang Malik <clears throat> si ano to Krisha uh, Joy Elumir kilala na kita ngayon Tumat nagtatago ka pa before so her question is but parang mukha akong multo <laughs> her question is mom what's your aspiration so ano ba you aspire I aspire to always do my best so that I can do what is best for anything or anyone so yun lang and to Aspire to, be, you know, to aspire to be the best version of myself. Para yung best ko, I could always, you know, give it out to those who are in my life right now. And yun. So I think that would be it, Shang. So yeah. Next question is from Norjin Pata. Uh, she has one, two, yun. Dalawang tanong. Sabi niya pa dito, could you give some tips for students, especially graduate students, when it comes in stepping into the real world and feeling left behind? Okay, so uh, first things first, the moment you step out of college or ano ba to, graduate students daw, um, the moment you step out of college, the world is gonna be tough. Real world is very difficult. There will be people who would hurt you, would make you happy at one point and another, and that is okay. So if you feel left behind, just remember, you know, take it from me, there is no timeline to success. So like, you can do it your way and stop comparing yourself to other people because this is you and this is your choice. So dapat, uh, Ang program mo sa mind mo is it's your journey, it's not my journey, and don't compare yourself to anyone. Para di mo ma feel na you're being left behind. At the end of the day, it's your life, so you have to make sure that it keeps you happy, it keeps you sane, and you're at peace. Yan yung importante. And maybe it's valid to feel at some point na you're getting left behind, but do not let it consume you. Just be yourself and uh, do what makes you happy without stepping on anyone. So yun. Yan ang sagot ko. I hope it helped you, Norji. So another question ni Norji dito is how to overcome self doubt and future pressure. Hope to see you around, Vamke. I love you. I love you too. So thank you for this. Um, to overcome self doubt and future pressure, I think you're. Um, I remember my very good friend, Dr. Vini who actually told me that there are things that we can control and there are things that are out of our control. So the future pressure is not yet in your control, so stop thinking about it. Focus on the now. Yan yung importante ngayon, and so you have to really just focus on what you can control now, your inner thing compared to what you cannot control outside. So I think that's how I'm going to advise you to stop overthinking things because Sabi pa ni Doc Fini sa akin, if you can no longer answer a, a thing or if you can no longer answer the question you have in your head, that means you're overthinking. So maybe you're asking this to yourself, so baka nag-overthink ka na, stop. Okay, stop. Focus at the moment and there are many things to be happy about right now. So future pressure is gonna come but... Malalaman mo din yun in the future. Just face it. That's the best way. The best way is to begin and just face face it. And anyway, you have people around you. So, just continue and keep on going. So, I hope nakatulong yun. So, yeah. The next question is from Claire Naftali, another English major. Sabi niya dito, what tips can you give po, ma'am, sa mga nahihirapang ma-overcome ang procrastination? So, hmm, 
do you you uh, ano ba nagro procrastinate with it. I have a vlog about it so I guess I'm going to link that here para nandoon yung sagot ko in total another vlog na lang siya but first things first it's all on the mind if you would want to stop procrastination you have to start telling yourself to stop otherwise it won't stop so that's it So we have here a question from Princess Romhela, another uh, English major baby ko din, who is now a second year student. What is your unforgettable experience, ma'am? Good or bad, I love you, Mom Kay. Love you too, Char. Um, unforgettable experience of, as of this time, hmm, it's the bar, bar ops, bar operations during the bar exam. Kasi parang, it was the only time na parang I felt so involved on something na parang, I don't know. Totoong sparkly talaga yung experience of serving others. So, yun, I think that's unforgettable. Kasi number one, I made new friends, as you can see or have heard sa February vlog ko. Connections and whatnot. So, parang hanggang ngayon, no? we are already in August. I am filming this. We maintain relations. So, parang nakakatuwa. Law school became bearable because you have friends now. And, yeah. And it changed me at some point kasi um, it opened my social obligations to others. So, yun, I think it it was one from the other. So, that would be unforgettable in a good way. Bad experience naman, unforgettable is, hmm, the time when I had to question my self-worth because of an incident that has happened but now was resolved, thankfully. So, yun, yung bad experience. And it's really true, no? When your mental health is at stake, it's, everything seems to be at stake then. So, do not let that happen. So watch my July vlog for the bad experience, for the good experience, my February vlog. So yun. For this portion of the vlog, these are the unfilmed questions, which I kind of skipped when I was trying to film that night. So enjoy. There are a few questions here. And yeah, just simply enjoy. question is a crazy question from my brother's girlfriend. <laughs> Dalawa sila kasi dala yung kapatid ko din. Diba? So, this question is from Sophia Jammang. Sophie, tatlong butas ng ilong or isa. Haha. <laughs> okay. Ano ba? Ano ba maganda guys? <laughs> I think it would look pathetic having one hole. So, I guess I pick three. So, okay na lang. Bahala na. In Ini-imagine ko na lang. So, Aloka. Next is from Claire Ivan Congreso. Ang tanong niya dito is, yung mahal mo o mahal ko? What? I doubt that this question should be answerable by either, de ba? For me, it should be, it should be equal. Oh. So when you are together, you should be like the best team ever, like partners. So, uh, it should be equally distributed, siguro. I don't know. Ni ko alam niya. I don't know how to assess. Pero for me. Regardless of anything, because if you love him or if you love her and he loves you back, I think 
all of this would be you know, reciprocation and it would be equal in terms of like your products. So, it shouldn't be viewed as such. That's for me. So, pag mahal mo, mahal mo talaga. Pag gawin mo lahat. And it's on him or her kung ano. At least you did your best, di ba? So, parang parang ganun. Not naman pagka-martyr. Huwag naman tayo magpakatanga sa tao na sinasakta na tayo. I mean, the point is parang just do your best. So that if you know that it's the right person, it would always like be there, di ba? So, yeah. Minsan kasi love is like trial and error. So, that happens. So, yeah. Yan ang sagot ko, Claire. Okay. Oh, ito is from my brother. Shante, no? <laughs> Itsura or ugali? Ah, uh, for me, it's always attitude. Aww. It's always character. I mean, you could be the ugliest person and there's beauty naman, di ba? Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. So, for me, it will always be the attitude. Because Aww. attitude makes you extra beautiful. And if you don't have character or the right attitude or yung pag-uugali, you will be a, like a shitful person to anyone. But if you have good character, you can always adapt to situations, you can always learn new things, you can even learn to beautify yourself. So, mas maganda pa rin talaga na, you know, you're, you have a good ugali or attitude. So, yeah, that would be it. And I would always remember my grade 8 teacher, Ma'am Abigail, would remind us, guys, please always value um, attitude over aptitude. Kasi at the end of the day nga daw, uh, character is what matters. So, yeah, nadaladala ko yan until now. Kaya, mahalaga sa akin ang character ng isang tao or ugali. So, yeah, that's it. So, guys, that's it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed the questions and somehow nasagot ko na. So, to my students, thank you for asking the questions. I really appreciate it. And finally, natapos na natin tong vlog na to. If you have vlog requests, you could feel free to type it on the comment section down below. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on my next vlog. So, thank you for being with me on this vlog. See you on the next. And this is Kay. So, thank you and bye!